Hello, this is Sam Rinaldi with Avaya Client Services. This video demonstrates how to use the Avaya Manage Alarms tool. This easy to use tool allows customers, business partners, and Avaya associates to enter requests to the Avaya support systems to ignore product alarms. Alarms can be ignored based on an entire soul to or functional location, specifying a start and end time and date. The location can also be filtered down to a particular SEID or alarm string. There are multiple ways to access the Manage Alarms tool. One option is to navigate to support.avaya.com, click on the All Tools link at the bottom of the page, then click on the Alarm Management tab. Another option is at the top of the support page. Click on Diagnostics and Tools, then the Lookup page. Click on the Alarm Management tab, scroll down, and click on the Manage Alarms button. There is also an option to access the Alarm Manager webpage directly by entering the URL for the Avaya Diagnostic Portal. From the Alarm Manager homepage, there are options to create ignore alarm requests, find an active request, or access the user guide. Also shown on the homepage is a list of currently active ignore alarm requests created by the user. From the homepage, the active ignore alarm requests can be edited by clicking on the pencil icon to the left of the Sold To column. Parameters such as alarm criteria or end date can be changed. To cancel a request, enter a check in the far right Cancel column, then click on the Cancel Selections button. Create a request by clicking on the Create Ignore Alarms Request link. Avaya Associates must enter a Sold To and click on Search to proceed. Business partners and customers, based on their SSO login access, will need to select from a list of sold tos and click Next to proceed. Notice on this page that the sold to option is pre-populated from the selections of the previous screen. Under Notification Contact, up to three email addresses can be populated to receive notifications. Email notifications provide status on the creation, update, cancellation, and optional 90-day reminder of this request. The description is optional. However, it is a helpful way of identifying the location and reason for the request. Three scenarios will be used to demonstrate the options available when creating an ignore alarm request. In the first scenario, due to commercial power maintenance on March 1st, the site will be shut down between the hours of 10.30 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All alarms for all products will be ignored during this maintenance period. To set up this request, select the following criteria. In Step 1, all products at this location will be checked. In Step 2, all alarms for the selected products at this location will be checked. In Step 3, the start and end date and time will be entered. The time zone for the site location is selected by using the drop-down. Choose the correct time zone. Click on Create Request to submit. In the second scenario, a rack-mounted UPS requires maintenance. Several devices at the site will be affected during this maintenance window. In Step 1, select only the following products. The SE code, SEID, and nickname are provided to assist in determining the correct devices select. 
Highlight the device by clicking on the desired SCID, then click the Add option. If the wrong SEID is selected, simply highlight the SEID added and click on the Remove option. Select the devices that will be affected during the maintenance window. Click on the Add option. In Step 2, all alarms for the selected products at this location will be checked. Verify the maintenance window time frame is set in Step 3 and click on Create Request to Submit. In the third scenario, scheduled backups are failing due to a compatibility issue with a SON server that needs to be upgraded. This project could be six months out. This scenario will filter on a specific device and alarm string. In Step 1, only the following products will be checked. Add the device. In Step 2, only alarms with descriptions matching the following patterns will be checked. Enter the alarm string. This can be taken from a service alert notification. Click Add. In Step 3, the Start Now option can be used, and in this scenario, a date six months out will be used rather than the No End Time option. Verify the Time Zone. If the request is made for an extended length of time, or if No End Time is selected, an email reminder can be sent every 90 days to the addresses entered in the notification contact. The email notifies that a request is still active and provides a link to Alarm Manager to update or cancel the request. Click on Create Request to Submit. If scheduled maintenance is to occur during a specific time frame over several consecutive days, the Daily Range feature can be applied rather than creating multiple requests. From the home page, use the Find Active Request link to view all ignore alarm requests for a particular functional location or sold to, regardless of who submitted the request. The Manage Alarms User Guide provides additional information on the use of this tool. Thank you for watching.